Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Tashika McKinney and I'm so excited to kick off part two of our core digital documents. In this particular series, we are gonna be talking not only about creating your brand book, but also creating your branded slide deck template. Now, before we jump right in, I do just kind of want to frame this for you so you know why this is very important to have in place. As school leaders and as a campus in general, we are always talking to people, whether that's through Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, community outreach events, or even during faculty meetings. One thing that should always stay universal is your brand. How are you telling your story? What fonts are you using? What colors are you using? What logo should be in place? I wanna equip you today, right now, if you continue to keep watching, with just that. Imagine if you had a template already set and you were able to walk in on day one with giving your principals, maybe your counselors or instructional coaches, this tool to use. Now, all of your messages are not only crystal clear and to the point, but it's also branded the same. They'll be able to say, okay, I know this is coming from so-and-so middle school, or this is coming from so-and-so high school. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So I did wanna make all of this easy for you. So I went ahead and created the template already. All you have to do is look down in the description area and grab your template and then continue this video. Hey y'all, I'm super excited to go ahead and jump right in. At this time, you should have your own copy for your campus brand board and slide deck template. First, I'm gonna quickly show you all of the options that you currently have at your fingertips, literally. And then I'm gonna turn around and show you how to edit this in order to brand it for your campus. So first I'm gonna go in slideshow mode just so you can see it pretty largely. This first slide is your actual brand board. So here is where you're gonna go ahead and get all of your logos and your mascots. And you wanna make sure that it has a transparent background. So you can include it right up here. The second row is where you'll choose your color palette. So whatever your school colors are, maybe you don't have five, maybe you only have two or three, that is completely fine. I'm gonna show you how to edit this and find the hex number so you can make sure that everything is always branded correctly. Lastly, on the brand board, we're gonna look at the topography. What are those different fonts that you use for your heading, your subheading, and your body or paragraph. We're gonna get that all set for you. Next, I did give you two title slide options. First, this is one where you can choose an image of one of your students and plug it there. You all, I'm telling you, if you are using this for Meet the Teacher, the parents love being able to look up and see a picture of their child there. Or let's say you wanna keep it more traditional and sleek, that is completely okay. I did give you this second option to where you don't have the image at the left-hand side. I did include a table of content area. At the very top, you'll see that I did use that secondary font for the word content. If you want it more clean and sleek, just completely ditch that idea and keep it all one font. Next, I did add this slide, and this is a little bit different. Um, however, it is a very nice touch. In the left-hand side, you would add an image of yourself. Maybe you're the principal, assistant principal, or instructional coach. Regardless, I think it's really nice to add a letter from that key speaker there. So keep in mind, a lot of times we do make the slide decks available to the community. I think it's just um, a nice way to say, hey, I know you, I see you, I feel you. Here, let me write this personal letter to you. I did give you this slide deck option um, for an overview. Of course, you can either use it or ditch it. You can even customize this to fit your campus needs. Now, if you are a teacher, a school leader, a counselor, it doesn't matter. You know educators love a good quote, so I could not forget to include this in here. 
You all, I'm not sure if you've seen something like this, but when I tell you I love it, like I've used this for so many different ideas, whether that is highlighting three different staff members or three different amazing things that I saw in the classroom. It really doesn't matter, you all. This is just something definitely to keep in your back pocket. This is another template that you can customize and use um, again if you need it. And then of course, um, the last slide, I have added a thank you slide. So these are the different options that you have to play around with to get you started off with your branded slide deck template. Now we're gonna go into how can we actually customize this to fit our exact need. When editing your brand board, all of these images that I have here are editable. So you can always just select it, delete it, and then add yours in. If you wanna add in yours, you wanna click this icon here that says insert image, or you can come to the toolbar, select insert image, and then you can select your image either from your computer, the web, or your drive. Next, let's think about our school colors. So in order to edit, all you do is select the first shape. We want to come here to fill color and then you'll select your color. So let's say it's red. You'll also want to change the border color to the same red. And then you can come over here. Let's say it's black. We'll switch that to black. And let's say you no longer need these, which is perfectly fine. You just select them and delete it. Now I wanna show you how do you get the hex number here. You wanna come up, click this plus sign here, and then here is that hex number. So let's copy this, click cancel, and then we're gonna paste this number right here. That's it. So let's try it again. You want to select the shape, fill color, plus sign. Here's your color. You want to copy it and paste it right here. Now we're going to move on to our different fonts. You all, this is so important. So first let's think about the heading. What is that main bold font that you want your campus leaders or maybe your teachers if they are preparing for me to teach a night a slide deck, what do you want them using? So for me, I use Poppins. Whatever you see on this second row here is the actual title of the font. My secondary font or for my subheading is Playfair Display. And then for the body or paragraph is Courier New. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. So what you'll wanna do if yours are different, you'll come right up here to font and then just select whatever text. So let's say you wanna use overpass. Perfect, it's done for you. The only other thing that you'll need to do is again, make sure you type overpass in the second row. Let's go ahead and complete these. Right over here for font use, it's the exact same thing. You'll just find your heading font, you'll switch it, which is overpass, You'll find your subheading font, highlight, switch it. And then you'll go to your body or paragraph, whatever you've selected here and do the same thing. Next, let's move down to your title options. You all have made this very simple here. Um, if you wanna change the color of any of the slides, this here is your background color. So you want to select change background and then you can select whatever color you want. However, if you look at these boxes here, these are just shapes that I included. So it's the same thing. You would just select the shape, go to fill color, switch that color. Make sure you also update the border outlining and there you have it. If you have another image for the student, no worries, you'll just select this image, delete it, and same thing, insert the image from wherever the image is located. 
All of these are text boxes, so you can go in and type whatever you need here. You can also resize these. Let's say this font is too large for you. No worries, let's highlight it. And then we'll drop it down. On your second title page, you have the exact same option. Let's say these are not your school colors. No worries. You wanna select the background. You can change it to your desire. Select done. And then if you wanna change this color here for this shape, You'll just select it, and again, you will change the fill color and the border color. And you all, for the entire slide deck template, you'll follow that exact same method. You can change the colors. You can also change the fonts and font sizes. All right, so there you have it. One thing I definitely want you to keep in mind is, again, all of this is editable, so you wanna make sure that this is your template. So whenever you are sending this out to people, just a quick tip so they don't mess yours up, you wanna go up here, find where it says edit, everything behind it you want to delete and replace it with copy. So in the event you were to send this out to someone else so they can start using it just as I did for you, they will not be able to edit yours. It will prompt them to actually make a copy of it. And there you have it. Well guys, that is it. I hope you have learned something and that you are walking away with your completed brand book and branded slide deck. If you liked it, please tell me in the comment area.